In part 7.1, I showed you how you could get to the point where you had the confidence in your model to start trading your system in a live account, but not with the parameters that you extracted from this initial optimization phase here. What you need to do now is perform an additional optimization, incorporating data up to the current date, so that all of this most recent data is also incorporated into your optimization model and therefore utilized as part of your parameter selection. So what that looks like is another optimization of the same duration but pushed forward in time so that the end date of the optimization is today. And I call this a pre-live optimization. Now you'd only ever perform this if you were already happy to proceed with live trading based on the previous stage of the process up here. And when you run this pre-live optimization, you need to make sure that you use all of the same settings. So you're optimizing the same parameters. In fact, everything's the same except for the start and the end dates. And this will of course mean that the parameters that are extracted from this optimization are now better able to trade effectively in the current market dynamics, which of course may have changed since the initial optimization. So just like the initial parameter extraction here provided the parameters for the walk forward phase, this new optimization provides the parameters for live trading. And the theory is that if you're satisfied that it worked well in the initial optimization here, then it should also hopefully work here when you start to trade the system live. Now there are two options for this pre-live optimization. You can either optimize on the same duration of data as I've shown here, or you could optimize on the entire period, extending the optimization so that it's larger. Now the benefit of using all of the data is higher statistical significance. You'll have more trades, but some older data might not be as relevant if market dynamics have changed. So using the shorter period means that statistical significance is lower, but the data is more recent and therefore more relevant. So unfortunately, there are pros to each approach and there are also cons to each approach. You'll have to decide which works best for you. Personally, I use the shorter period so that the pre-live optimization is undertaken under the exact same conditions as the initial optimization. However, fortunately, there is actually a solution to this that gives us the best of both worlds. So it gives us that high level of statistical significance, but also recency of data. And that's using a technique called walk forward analysis. But that's out of scope for today's episode, although I will explain it fully in a few episodes time. So now that we have this same common understanding of the overall process, let's get into the main subject of today's episode which is the implications of good and bad statistical significance in the walk forward phase and how this is different to the optimization. So up until now in this video series, I haven't really distinguished between these two phases at all. And I've just used broad statements such as the fact that without statistical significance, test results become meaningless and won't be indicative of the results that you obtain if you traded them live. But as we now dig into this in more detail, the impact of poor statistical significance in the in-sample optimization phase is fundamentally different from the impact in the out-of-sample walk-forward phase. So let's take a closer look at those differences now. So we know that the purpose of the in-sample optimization phase is to identify the optimal parameter values that will then carry forward and use those in the walk-forward phase. But when we undertake optimizations without sufficient statistical significance, this has the effect of reducing, or in some extreme cases, completely eliminating the predictive power of selecting the best parameter values from the optimization. So we need this high statistical significance here at this stage in order to make that selection effective. 
But as I said before, the implications of poor statistical significance in this out of sample walk forward phase is very different. So click on the link here to part 7.3 and we'll take a look at why this is.